bow to the teacher within. Keeping the eyes closed, take a deep inhale. And through the nose, exhale. Inhale very deeply. Exhale. Inhale and let's tune in. Om Namo today to connect. Connect to the divine all around you. And exhale, relax the hands all the way down to your knees. And let's begin with shoulder shrugs. Inhale, bring the shoulders all the way up towards your ears, and then exhale as you move your shoulders back and down. Continue now, inhaling as you bring your shoulders up, exhaling back and down. Inhale deeply, bring the shoulders all the way up, close to the ears, and exhale, relax the shoulders all the way down. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder, inhale as you circle all the way to the back, and exhaling as you circle all the way to the front. Inhale deeply, come to center. And exhale, go in the opposite direction, same exercise, opposite direction. Inhaling, coming to center, and exhale. Come to your hands and knees for cat and cow, warming up the spine. Bring your hands just underneath your shoulders, <coughs> and knees just about hip width apart. Take a deep inhale, look all the way up to the ceiling, drop the belly low, and as you exhale, round the spine, look towards the knees. Keep the spine straight, look towards the knees. Curl the head, look towards the knees. Good, arch the spine up like a cat. And as you inhale, go in the opposite direction. Look all the way up to the ceiling and drop the belly low down to the ground. That's it, elbows are straight.
last few seconds. Take a deep inhale and exhale. We're moving now into downward facing dog. You can do this on your forearms or on your hands. Turn your toes over, lift the knees all the way up and come into downward facing dog. Holding steady here. Find a way to hold this posture so that you feel relaxed. Equal weight on your hands and on your feet. Sending fresh oxygenated blood directly to the brain. Take a deep inhale and walk your feet towards your hands. Grab onto opposite elbows. And shake your head from side to side. Shake your head no. And then shake your head yes. Hold your head steady and shake your elbows from side to side. And then rock your elbows up and down from your knees towards your head. Relax your hands all the way down and come all the way up into a standing position. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pull the shoulders all the way back and down. Keeping your feet just about hip width apart. Interlace your fingers, bring this mudra on top of your head. Deep, deep inhale here. And exhale, coming down as low as you can. Lead with the buttocks. Inhaling as you come up, exhaling as you go down. Last two, and last one. Release your hands down to your thighs, tiny pulses. Sitting down with your buttocks first. Bending on the knees. Crouching down and move from side to side here. Almost like you're skating, speed skating. You keep your hands on your thighs or keep your hands and fists in front of your chest. <coughs> Working on the inner thighs here, opening up the pelvic region. Feel the strength in your lower body moving from side to side. is now with the right heel lifted. Lift the right heel and pulse. Good, lower the 
heel and lift the opposite side, lifting the left heel. Small pulses. One, settle both heels on the ground and move from side to side, releasing that tension to come all the way up to straight. Keep moving your body. Good. And relax. Shake it out. Good. Nice work. Moving now into the Kriya. <coughs> Turn so that you are facing the exit sign. Here we're coming into the shape of four U's. Four U's. The first part is your lower body, all the way up to your waist. And then bending forward at the waist. Watch the mirror, make sure that your spine is straight. And then extend your arms all the way down. Palms are facing each other. Hold steady and keep your spine straight. This is a Kriya called the Four U's, We're cultivating a neutral mind, cultivating strength in the body. Make sure you don't let your shoulders go, keep your back straight. Look in the mirror and make sure that you have a flat back. That's it. That's it. I'm holding each posture for two minutes. This is the first of the four U's. seconds, check your posture, make sure you're holding everything steady. Take a deep inhale and exhale, bring your hands to your thighs and slowly bring yourself all the way up to a standing position. Nice work everyone. Four U's, bring the shoulders all the way up and relax the shoulders all the way back and down. Come all the way to your mat sitting up tall and straight, extending the legs all the way out in front. Toes are pointing up, arms are parallel with the legs, palms are facing each other, thumbs are pointing up. Keep your eyes closed and hold steady here. Keep that same position in your back, tall and straight, long and strong.
Concentrate, make sure your arms and legs are parallel. Hold yourself steady, but keep your shoulders relaxed. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Nice work, everyone. Relax your arms all the way down. <clears throat> Sit up tall and straight, keep holding. And from here now, we're moving on to your back. So a third, third set from this series now, lying on your back. <clears throat> Bring your knees to your chest and then extend your legs all the way up to the ceiling. Feet are flat, pointing towards the ceiling, and then bring your arms up so that they're parallel to your legs, palms are facing each other. Keeping your eyes closed, concentrate now, making any modifications that you need in order to hold steady. Last 10 seconds. <clears throat> Take a deep inhale and exhale and gently lower your legs down, lower your arms down. Take a moment. And from here we move into the last part of the U series. So just taking a moment to listen to the setup and the posture and then coming into the posture. This is for those of you who are familiar with Plow pose is similar, you're moving your legs so that they hover over your chest. Feet are parallel to the ground so they don't touch the ground behind you. So coming into position now, <clears throat> bring your knees to your chest and then prop your buttocks up and then straighten your legs so that they are hovering over your chest. You can use your hands to support yourself if you need a little bit of extra support here or keep the arms parallel down by the ground. Holding steady. This is a Kriya, by the way. This is a Kriya for strengthening the neutral mind, allowing you to come to a place where you can balance negative and positive and see the neutral. And in this neutral part of your mind, this is where you connect best and easiest with the source within you, your divine light and the light within others. This is a Kriya that was originally practiced by soldiers of the Indian Army, and they would hold each posture for 31 minutes. Today we're holding for two minutes.
last few seconds holding steady. Bring your hands to your buttocks now and slowly release your legs all the way down to the ground. Keep your knees bent, soles of the feet are on the ground. And then windshield wiper your legs from side to side, just allowing your any tension in the lower back to release now. And then when you're ready, extend your legs all the way out in front, preparing for a deep relaxation. Palms are open. Relax.
Gently bring your awareness back into the room. Wiggle your fingers and your toes, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Turn your wrists and your ankles in circles, turn, turn, turn. Go in the opposite direction, turn, turn, turn. Bring your arms up over behind your head, long stretch of the body, stretch. Point your toes, flex your feet, point and flex, point and flex. Bring your hands together, rub, rub, rub. Bring the bottoms of your feet together at the same time, rub, rub, rub. Place your feet down onto the mat, rub your hands together double time, and then bring your warm hands over your closed eyes. Bring a healing energy into your optic nerve. Float your hands away from your face, draw your knees to your chest, and rock from side to side. Rock and roll up and down on your spine five times until you come all the way up into a seated position preparing for today's meditation. Grab a cushion or a block, whatever you need to sit comfortably. We're practicing the meditation for trust this month. Press your left hand down. For women, left palm goes down first, and then right palm sits on top of the left, and the thumb tips touching. For gentlemen, it's the opposite. Remember, your fingers are not interlaced, just one palm on top of the other. So for women, left palm down first, and then right on top. For men, it's the opposite. And then bring the thumb tips to touch. Bring this mudra above your head, like you're holding a halo above you. Keeping the eyes just a little bit open, focus at the tip of your nose. And the mantra now, a soft whisper, wa he guru a Soft whisper, wa he guru wa he guru wa he guru is the mantra of ecstasy. Take a deep inhale. Keep your hands in place and exhale. Two more times, take a deep inhale. And exhale. Last time, relax your hands all the way down once you've finished your last breath. Sitting quietly now for just a few seconds.
Press your palms together at the center of your chest. Shoulders are relaxed, chin is tucked in slightly, focusing in between the eyebrows and slightly above. We close now with the long time sun, followed by a long sat short nam. We're broadcasting live from Yoga Vision Studio. First thing in the morning, this class is called Movement and Meditation. Take a deep inhale. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surrounds you. And the pure light within you guide your way on. Guide your way on. Guide your way on. Inhale deeply, long such short now. <coughs> and please ground yourself, bring your forehead and your palms to the ground, closing off the energy of today's practice. <coughs> and to all of our friends who are listening out in podcast land we send you a flying kiss Mwah. thank you so much for being with us and see you next time catch you next time